Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. For today's video, I'm going to be giving some recommendations for drugstore hair oils and serums that I think have great ingredients, great formulations, and of course come at a great price as well. I know that a lot of you guys have been requesting for me to talk about more drugstore hair care, so thank you for bearing with me as I just take time to really test things out, look into ingredients, and make sure that I actually want to recommend, of course, everything that I talk about, especially for broader product category videos like this. It just takes me a little bit of time. So we're finally ready to talk about this and if you know me at all then you know that I am obsessed with oils for the hair I use them in so many different ways. I'll use them before I wash my hair little pre-oil mask situation pre-oil mask No pre-shampoo oil mask Okay, I love to use them for a really nice blowout to add softness and shine And I also love to use them midweek to help to detangle my hair and help to seal in my ends when they start to look a little bit crazy So I think that all of these oils work amazingly well for every single one of those things So whatever you are looking for a hair oil for you've come to the right place I've got you. We're gonna jump into it, but before we do, if you could please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment below letting me know what your current favorite drugstore hair care product is, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for doing all of those things. Really does help to support my channel. I appreciate it so much. Instagram and TikTok handle are right here, and my Lightroom preset filters for editing Instagram photos are listed in my description box below, along with discount codes, links, links to these products, timestamps, and anything else you may need from me. All right, let's jump into it. First up is from Heritage by Mindy, and if you're not familiar with this brand, they're actually sold in Walmart, and I posted a review recently talking about 10 different products that they have. This one included, so if you saw that video, then you already know that I love this. If you haven't seen that yet, I will list that in my description box below. But this is called Take Your Vitamins Argon Oil. It has 3.4 ounces of product in it, and it retails for $7.94. We love that price point. This says that it's a non-greasy oil that repairs, strengthens, and adds shine. So this is actually not just argon oil. There's a combination of different plant-based oils and silicone-based ingredients in it. And I will say that all of these serums slash oils that I'm going to be talking about have silicones in them except for one. I did wanna look for one silicone-free option because I know that some people feel that silicones just weigh down their hair. But for the most part in serums and oils, whether they're from the drugstore or they're higher end, they're going to most likely have silicones in them because silicones are incredible conditioning ingredients. They protect the hair, they detangle, they add shine. And I know that they get a really bad rap that I personally think they do not deserve at all. There's a lot of misinformation out there about silicone. So I just wanted to make sure that I was saying that about all of these. I do talk about silicones in a video where I bust a bunch of different hair myths. So if you wanna know more about that and why they're actually great for the hair, that video is listed below, but don't freak out. Silicones are great. So aside from the silicones, the other ingredients that are in this that are really going to be great at helping to condition, protect, and nourish the hair are the argon oil, avocado oil, safflower oil, and vitamin E. So really nice ingredients set here, again, especially for that price point. Let's take a look at this beautiful silky formulation. Don't focus on me. How am I gonna do this? Let's go like this. We'll see if this works. Run it down my hand. that you can just see that beautiful shine I love this it has such a nice slip to it so I actually I'm gonna use this right now because my hair is tangly I love using this towards the back of my hair because my hair is so fine it gnats gnats no <laughs> I was gonna say it knots and mats it does both of those things sure we'll call it gnatting it mats up very easily towards the back of my head. So I love to use this oil and any of these oils, honestly, to help to detangle back there where I get extra tangly. But I love this. It's lightweight, it's silky soft, adds such pretty shine, and it's not greasy at all. But I still would not put any of these oils towards my roots because I naturally have an oilier scalp. So if you have a really dry scalp, if you're flaky, you absolutely can apply these to the scalp, but otherwise, I just love these for the ends of the hair. This is so fab and I just oiled this up. I gotta wipe that off. Next up is the SGX NYC Abracadabra Invisible Styling Oil. This one has four ounces of product in it and retails for $6.99. On the back it says it's a magical lightweight five oil blend that tames frizz, seals split ends, and detangles. 
This actually provides UV and heat protection, which is amazing. Not all of these oils are going to do that, but this one does. And it says it will give you unbelievably soft, smooth hair. There are a few different kinds of silicones in this, but there's one in particular that I wanted to highlight, which is my personal favorite silicone, and it's called Amodimethicone. This not only helps to condition and detangle like other standard silicones, but it has further protective benefits for the hair because it has an amino group and a positive charge and damaged hair actually has a negative charge. So that attracts and helps to really protect the hair further, which is amazing. So the five kind of key oils that they are referring to on the back of this label are argon oil, baobab oil, I actually feel like I just saw a commercial now that I'm saying that word where they said that ingredient and I was like, oh, that's how you say it. But I already forgot. Are we surprised? So Bayo Bob, Bob Bob oil, oh God, jojoba oil and coconut oil, which is actually very beneficial for the hair in so many different ways. And I just uploaded a video talking all about coconut oil that I'm gonna list below as well, because that's definitely a controversial ingredient for the hair, but there's a lot of good research that I found on that ingredient that made me real excited. So obviously I made a whole video. So all five of those oils are so nice for the hair. Plus this does have squalane, which is great at helping to moisturize and soften as well. So Man, am I impressed by this ingredient set. I really do enjoy it. Let's get a little close up here at the shine action. I also really enjoy the smell of this. It's very light and fresh and kind of florally. It smells super pretty. So if you feel like you're someone that starts to have kind of smelly hair midweek, something like this is really nice. This also has a nice smell too, but I think that this one is even nicer. So this one feels great as well. I will say that it is just a little bit heavier slash thicker than the Heritage by Mindy oil. So if you have super fine thin hair, I think that you'll prefer this one just because it's going to be less likely to weigh your hair down. Whereas this one, I think you will love if you do have really frizzy hair or coarse hair or thick hair. But I will say that I like all of these oils. And even though there's differences in the way that they feel a little bit, I can kind of adapt based on the weight of the oil. What? I can just easily adjust how much I use of each of these oils to make sure that I'm not using too much to make my hair look way down or stringy or greasy, which can definitely happen with any kind of oil. So you'll just have to play around with each of them depending on your hair type, figure out how many pumps works best for you depending on how you're using it. But this is another one that I really love and this is actually something that I have started to use overnight as a pre-shampoo oil and I'm obsessed with it in that way. Next up is the OGX Nourishing and Coconut Milk and breakage serum. This has four ounces of product in it and it retails for $8.99. On the front it says indulge your senses with this exclusive blend with coconut milk, coconut oil, and ultra whipped egg white proteins. It's an exotic formula that helps to add strength, elasticity, hydration, and balance for healthy hair. This ingredient set is actually very impressive for the drugstore and in this scenario when I see the phrase anti-breakage I'm like yes I approve. Not that they're looking for my approval on how they label their products, but I feel like I see claims like that a lot and it's like, oh, that feels like a stretch. But this is formulated in a way where it totally makes sense to me that that is the title of this product. And let me explain why. So the two ingredients in this that are actually going to help to temporarily strengthen the hair and as a result, protect the hair from future breakage are milk protein and silk amino acids. Proteins are one of the major structural components of the hair and amino acids are one of the building blocks, if you will, of a protein. So as our hair becomes increasingly damaged, the protein content depletes, one of the ways that we can help to strengthen the hair temporarily is by using products that have added proteins and amino acids in them. Plus, that is not all. On top of that, this also has coconut oil in it, and one of the benefits of coconut oil is that it actually helps to protect the hair from protein loss. So we have a little bit of added proteins plus an oil that helps with protein loss even further. So now you guys can see why I was so excited about this one for damaged hair. On top of that, we also have shea butter in this, which is a really nice, rich, nourishing butter. All right, close up here of this one. Ah, oh, feels so, so nice. This smells so good, I love it so much. It's definitely fresh and summery and has that faint coconut smell, but it's not in an artificial candy bar way. I really like that, totally different from that previous oil. 
yum. This one I would say is really, really similar to the Heritage by Mindy Oil, maybe ever so slightly thicker, but I think a really great option for a lot of different hair types, does not feel greasy at all. Oh, I could just like sit here with these in my hands all day. They feel so nice. I love these oils. Next up, we have the TGIN Miracle Repair X Anti-Breakage Serum. Oh, I didn't know they had the same name. This one has four ounces of product in it and it retails for $14.99, so it's definitely a bit pricier than the rest of these, but still is a drugstore product. And this one has really great ingredients and is actually silicone free. So I wanted to make sure again that I did give you guys one silicone free option for those of you that prefer not to use silicones. This says it's an intense moisturizing serum that helps to reduce breakage, prevent split ends, and repair hair damage. And I would say the primary way in which this does that is different from something like this, which has added proteins and amino acids. This does have coconut oil as the first ingredient, so we're getting the protection from protein loss. But other than that, it really just has a ton of different oils in it. So that is going to help to condition, add the slip, help to detangle, and prevent the hair from breaking from tangles. So it's more so from that lens, but the oils in this, you guys, are amazing. I was very, very impressed when I read through this ingredients list. So I wanna quickly read through those standout oils here for you just so you can get as excited as I was. So again, coconut oil, olive oil, peach kernel oil, raw black honey, castor seed oil, papaya oil, ginger oil, marula oil, jojoba oil, rice oil, and maca oil. So if you're somebody that has protein sensitive hair, maybe you already have protein buildup on the hair, been there, done that, not fun, or you just already have a lot of other products that have added proteins and you're not necessarily needing more of that, then this is a great option for you. This one, well, I'll show you first, then we'll talk about smell. I really, really like this. Very florally, definitely one of the more potent smells, but not too overpowering at the same time, just compared to the others that are a little bit more subtle. So this is the most like a serum out of all of these so far, whereas the other ones are definitely more oily. I mean, this obviously it has oil to it. You can, you can see the shine on my hand, but it's the lightest weight and most liquidy out of all of these. So if you're looking for something like that, then this will be the perfect formulation for you. So again, that is the T. GIN Miracle Repair X Anti-Breakage Serum, and I think it's a great one. And last but not least, I wanted to find an oil that is under $5 that has ingredients that I really liked, and I was able to do that buy a penny because this is $4.99. So this is the Tresemme Flawless Curls Hydrating Oil. It has 3.2 fluid ounces of product in it and retails for $4.99. This says that it's a luscious oil that hydrates, defines, prevents frizz. It absorbs into the hair quickly. It's made with coconut and avocado oil and has a delectably creamy indulgent scent. So ingredients in this that stand out to me is really beneficial for the hair, of course, include the avocado and coconut oil that they talk about on the label. This also has argan oil in it. It has amodimethicone as one of the silicones. And I also wanted to talk about the second ingredient on the label because I feel like I may have some people wondering my thoughts on it. It's mineral oil. This is another ingredient that has a very bad reputation, but it doesn't deserve it, okay? So there are certain oils that will penetrate the hair and mineral oil is not one of them. So it is true that mineral oil really just more so sits on top of the hair, kind of creates a coating, but I feel like that makes everyone freak out and just makes everyone think that that's a terrible thing because that equals buildup. Yes, we wanna make sure that we are properly clarifying the hair to remove any buildup, but there is an added benefit to having an ingredient like mineral oil coating the hair. That is actually providing protection against harmful ingredients and water from penetrating. So this is an oil that you may not want to apply consistently throughout the week if you're somebody that does have fine hair or hair that's more susceptible to buildup, but I think it makes for an excellent pre-shampoo mask because that's going to help to protect the hair from the surfactants and from the water that really cause damage. So I wanted to make sure that I was saying that I have no issue with it. Sure, there are ingredients that are not going to work the same on every single hair type, but for this type of thing, it's not something that we need to fear at all costs definitely has benefits. So let's take a look now at this formula. It 
So I would say that this is pretty spot on with the Heritage by Mindy formulation. Very, very comparable. There's really nothing specific to call out about this in a different way than any of the other products. It does smell really, really yummy. It's light, subtle, sweet. It's definitely the sweetest out of all of these, but not sugary. But that's enough on this hair oil from Tresemme. I'm happy you exist great $4.99 option. So those are officially all of the drugstore hair oils that I wanted to recommend to you guys. Of course, I am sure there are so many others that are great, but these are the ones that I've really been able to test out, like I said, dig through ingredients and feel very excited to recommend to you guys. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Have you tried any of these? Did you like them? Did you not like them? Are you going to pick any up after watching this video? And if so, of course, let me know which one. Everything will be listed in my description box below in order of mention, as always, so it's nice and organized and easy for you to find. If there's anything else you would like to see from me next, other drugstore hair categories you would like me to review like this one, please let me know in the comments below. But if you found this helpful and would like to see more videos like this, don't forget to give this a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and send my channel to a friend. Thank you so much for doing all of those things. Stay tuned for my next video because that will be up in a few days but until then, I hope you have a great few days.